Welcome to another video. We got some copper cents here. Well, hopefully there's a bunch of copper in here. Um, but I got some pennies to search. Let's see what we got inside here. Yeah, these rolls look pretty good here. Um, got some stuff that looks a little older. So this looks like it'll be a fun box. Let's get into this and see if there's anything really cool on the inside of these rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cute coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Roll number three. We got our first find. We got a 1948 out of Philly. Wheat cent. Nice. Awesome. Roll number eight. I've come across a really really corroded nasty wheat scent i didn't even realize it was until i got it flipped over and saw the back this is a 1950 something out of denver um, i can't make out the last date and the date but it's still a wheat scent so it counts as fine it goes up here really nice to find a second wheat scent unfortunately it is pretty tore up but what you gonna do it still counts as a find number 10 come across another wheat scent Let's get it in the camera right here. So I was going through, I noticed we had a wheat sitting there. 1949 out of San Francisco. Yep, that's 1949 out of San Francisco. Nice, that's a nice wheat scent there. We're on to roll 13. We come across this 2009, and here in this area, you can find several different extra fingers. This one appears to have one of those as well. Um, there are over 40 of these listed out on Friday Vista and, and elsewhere. So if I can find out which one it is, I'll have it in the picture. But uh, that is a pretty cool find, finding a double die there. Double die reverse on a 2009. Nice. Roll number 14. We've got a 2004 here. This is an interesting one. Um, on the reverse, you can find a cherry picker's guide variety with doubling up in e pluribus unum and up in uh, the United States of America, uh, mostly in the States and e pluribus unum. But also on the 2004s, there are a ton on Philadelphia and Denver. Uh, on this Philadelphia, there are a ton of different double dies in the Bay areas so of just some um, extra. Um, extra doubling from some of the pillars or what have you. Um, this one has some doubling here on this edge here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find which one this is because there are so many, but uh, I'll at least put a picture of it so you can see it. But that's a pretty cool little find there. We're on roll 27, and I've come across a 2003. On the reverse of this one, it has a similar doubling to the 2004. Um, I'm not as familiar with the 2003s as the 2004s, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a lot. I think there's some on the 2002s as well. So, interesting find. Um, been a pretty slow box since the first few finds, and uh, hoping things pick up, but it's always it's nice to find another double die, even if it, these are some more minor double dies. It's still doubling on a penny. Okay, well, there were no other finds in the box other than these six. We had three uh, double die reverses, 2003, 2004, and the 2009. And then three wheat cents, two from the 40s and one from the 50s in a very bad state. Now, this box was uh, very low on the finds. A lot of the cents looked like they came out of the ground. They had uh, spent some time in the ground. Someone dug them up and uh, tossed them back into circulation. And then there were some, I've got some nicer ones up here. I don't know if all these are going to make the albums or not, but this box did have a large set of nicer coins. Um, and some of these are pretty nice, but a lot of them are kind of mid-grade and I might have betters in the albums already. I just decided I was just gonna stack them up. So a uh, large amount of nicer scents, but a large amount of really corroded, dirty, nasty scents. Okay, so let me check out these against the album, and then I'll let you know how we're looking with the albums and uh, where we stand with those. 
for our wheat scent, we have this wheat scent. I'm going to be upgrading this, this one. It's not a huge step up, but it is a bit more quality and uh, just a slightly better coin than ones in here. And I want to uh, test out these uh, holes in this album a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Also, we did have this 1949S. So that's going to fill a spot. Unfortunately, it has some corrosion on it. But that will fill a spot for now. Hopefully, we find a better one soon. That's all for the first book. As for book number two, I've got a pretty nice 1960, a nice red 1960 I found in the box. It's going to upgrade that spot nicely. And over here, we got a 1961 that is uh, cleaner, redder than the one that's in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that spot, even though I probably should wait for a nice clean one. But I don't know if that's ever going to come, so I think I'm going to go ahead and switch that one out. And here we have the 1989 out of Denver. I'm going to be filling this spot. That spot's been empty and taunting me for a while. This is the final spot in this second album to fill. Most of the coins in here are pretty nice. That one's decent. Haven't found a nicer one, so I will be filling that spot. And then this album will be full and just need upgrades. There were no upgrades for their third Lincoln album. This is going to wrap up another video. We ended up filling two spots and had four upgrades. So that was pretty cool. Um, nice little box to give a little bit extra there for the albums. Uh, light, a very light box on the finds. That's going to happen sometimes. You got to go through the, the boxes that have nothing, hardly nothing, to find a coin. The boxes with lots of awesome coins in there. Hopefully next box will be a good one. We won't find out until we get to that one, so do stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.